What's up everybody? It's Gary here and Dave. And today we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to install your plow on your MSA 300, MSA 400 and basically just kind of give you an idea of how to install it on your UTV. We've got other videos on how to do this so all you got to do is check out our YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe and like this post if you guys like it. So come on over here, we'll kind of show you, give you some more information on exactly how to install this item on here. So again, as you can see here, you've got your plow here. Now again, we do have them in the 48 inch all the way up to a 60 inch, so it depends on which version you're purchasing. Now Dave, what uh, exactly comes when they have the ATV? They gotta assemble the ATV and then the plow? Once you, put, once you get your 300 or 400, yes. You just have to assemble. The good thing about the three or 400s is that they do come with the winch pre-installed. So you will not have to install the winch. So it kind of just becomes a connect and play once you're at that point. Gotcha. Um, and this one, it seems like obviously we've got our winch here and then what? It just connects underneath here? Correct. Right to the bracket. You will just hook the winch right to it. Okay. And then how are we actually going to mount all right, come on over here the to ATV. the left side of the vehicle with the plow. So to start out, you want to make sure you have a good mounting point right by the frame. So you can see here, we have the frame rail running right, right along. It comes in and it hooks over. So you're going to install the plate in a fashion like this to where your bolts are kind of tapered. Now, what is actually included uh, in the plow box versus the ATV? So in your plow box, you will have this top plate here. You have these mounting bolts. You will have some rubber spacer bushings okay. right here, yep. and then you'll have this bottom plate with some nice, <clears throat> quick disconnect pins. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. can see it real nice and good there. And so you're pretty much sandwiching the frame there, right? Exactly. So you're going to okay. sandwich the frame with those plates that are included, and then you just want to take your bolts, and you want to have them right up against the front face of the frame rail where it comes out. So you follow the frame, and as the frame bows outwards, this is where your bolts are gonna to attach to so that the plow does not get pushed back. Gotcha, makes sense. Okay, now how does the underneath look? Is it just your simple? So the under, it? yes. This one here on this 300 that we have, oh, yeah, is just, just a nice clear open frame here. Yep. So you'll put your center bolt through just to give it an extra clamping force. And then you got a couple nuts there as well. Seems pretty simple. Okay, and then once they install, so then once your plow, um, plow mount comes out front here, you will have to assemble the blade itself, which will come disconnected, and then the spring components here. The nice thing about this unit itself is it has a spring assisted adjustment. Very easy. So you can simply, you know what, the other day when I was taking the video, I even went ahead and I, as, yeah, I even you. What you could do, you could even stick your foot in there, turn it left, turn it right, and uh, makes it for ease of use when you know you're out there in the uh, field plowing snow. So, and then when the, you know, you want to go ahead and use it, what do you do? You simply turn this on here, and then it also is going to come with your 300 and 400. Most of them, again, if it's not a wired, sometimes it's going to be wired. So sometimes it will vary. And again, you have your plow up and down, right there, and you can simply, again, pin it left and right, Quick very simple. Yeah, it takes you one second to do that, and there you have it. So, once again, to install the plow, it's pretty darn simple, and uh, once again, the easiest part about the assembly, actually, because some of the UTVs over here, do, as you can see here, do not have the winch, so if you do uh, not have a winch and you have to install it, it makes it a little bit more difficult, because you have the, uh, what, positive, negative, you got to install. Correct. And... You'll have to run the switch solenoid and the wire into the battery. So getting a three or 400, you will have your winch already pre-installed with that solenoid and controller. So there you go. Whether it's wired or battery. Makes it way easier. And so once again, boys and girls, here's your video, like I said. And again, your plow may vary a tad, because we do have different versions, but they're all going to be pretty similar how they install. So give us a call today, saferwholesale.com, 866-606-3991. If you guys have any other questions on how to install, and we're glad uh, to assist you any day of the week. Thanks for watching.